What is up everybody, 24 Burner over here, and I'm back with a Forza 6 car review. Uh, today I'll be reviewing the 2017 Ford GT. Uh, this is the first of many because there are over 450 cars in this game. So let's just start. Um, uh, let's start with the stats. The GT produces 630 horsepower and 539 pound-feet of torque from a direct-injected twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter EcoBoost engine. And all that is being driven to the rear wheels via 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The GT's body is made from carbon fiber, giving it an incredibly low weight. This combination of a lightweight body and those incredible power figures allow the GT to scoot from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and reach a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Enough with the stats. Uh, let me tell you my or give you my first impressions of this incredible supercar. Okay, so let's start off with the pros to this car, in my opinion. Uh, this car just sounds absolutely incredible. Like, listen to it. That is one of the best sounding V6s I've ever heard. Only second to, like, a Skyline, honestly. Um, like it, and maybe a maybe a boxer but yeah it sounds like a skyline here see it sounds like a skyline I love that sound it's just amazing um, to top that it handles so well it's crazy how well this thing handles like if you want it to turn it will turn it will not fight you it drifts every so often but it's very hard to do it it'll stay planted it's crazy don't don't mind my really crappy ass driving. Um, it's got really good forward bite off the corners. Like it, it's just crazy. Like I don't know how to describe forward bite. Um, uh, it, the lines on this car, just they are absolutely beautiful. And the looks of it, it's just well, they kind of go together, but it's just a beautiful car. Um, Throttle response is absolutely incredible. There's like a little to no turbo lag. It's amazing. Considering it's only a V6 and they probably had to do a, put a lot of boost to that car. It's just, it's crazy. Um, now let's switch over to the con side. Yes, there are cons to this game or this car. Um, driving in cockpit view kind of seems. Uh, a little harder than it should I that's just me I guess it's the steering wheel it's kind of Ferrari is the steering wheel um, I don't know why it's just I don't like that steering wheel it's almost square it doesn't feel right it just feels like it's turning too slow um, there's no race car option like there's no race yeah you know what I mean there's no race car GT in the game um, but you never know that might be added I have a paint scheme actually uh, I'm going to do a build of that. Uh, the interior kind of seems outdated. I know that's kind of a nitpicky thing, but I don't know. Some of you might might, some of you might care. I don't know. Um, I race on hood anyway, so it doesn't matter to me really. Um, I don't know how much, like, I don't even know if you can tell this in real life, but it is supposed to raise and lower itself automatically for better aerodynamics like the real car does depending on how fast it's going it doesn't do that or it might I don't know I can't see it I don't know how much it does in real life um, but yeah that's it um, oh it also accelerates really well but that that's kind of expected with this car and I'm driving really bad <laughs> um, so yeah that's it um, if you did like this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, my, you can find me on all the so well, all the main social medias. My Facebook and Twitter are in the uh, will be in the description down below. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.